Okay guys, my name is Henry Jones and we're going to be doing password hashes and we're going to do some cracking examples. Alright, so the, on the agenda, we're going to do what is password hashing, purpose of hashing a password, purpose of salting a password, what is salting, showing salting working, types of hashing algorithms, what makes a good hashing algorithm, summaries, questions, and a hands-on cracking exercise. So what is the password hash? A hash is a one-way algorithm that is easy to perform but is extremely difficult to reverse. So we start with the password easy, it goes inside the hashing algorithm and it outputs the password hash right here. Um, it is extremely difficult to reverse to go this way. Okay, so what is the purpose of hashing a password? The password itself will not be stored. Um, so if this is a database, let's say, um, and you have the different users and the passwords. Uh, these are the hash values of the user's passwords. So salt them. So let's say a user has the same password, like Brian and Jordan. They have the same hash if they're using the same password. But with salt, you take the password the users type in, add a random string of values at the end of the password. So you take this random string generated at the end of the user password, do the password plus the salt into the hashing algorithm to make the store to create the store password. So if this would make, so they're still using the same password, but they would make the hash unique. So let's say if somebody gets into a database, they don't know Brian and Jordan are using the same password. So the hashes are different. All right, so types of passwords hashing algorithms. You have MD5, which is completely broken. Don't use it, it's cracked. Um, it's 128 bits as shown here. This is a smallest example. Um, then you have SHA-160 bits which are, is a little bit longer. Then you got SHA-2, this is a 512-bit example, and these are 512s also. Um, so what makes a good hashing algorithm? So it has to be fast to calculate, but not too fast. If it's too fast, it's easy to crack. Um, it has to have an avalanche effect, which I can show you. Give me one second. Okay. So let's say we type in Towson. So this is the hash for Towson, and let's say we add a bit of data, let's say one, it changes the hash completely. There you go. Right, so that's the PowerPoint. Um, so hashing collisions. So you take two inputs, two different inputs, and they produce the same output. That's a hashing collision. You do not want that. You want two inputs to produce two different outputs, no matter what. It's an extremely low chance of the same output occurring, or the hash hashing algorithm won't work. Um, the hashing algorithm, like bcrypt, is designed to, sl to be slower to prevent it from being easily cracked. This goes with number one. So in summary, um, hashing is a one-way algorithm that is impossible to reverse. One use of hashing is to store passwords. Um, always store passwords with salt. Without a salt, users with the same password will have the same hash. Salt in the password is adding a random string of digits characters to the and of the user's password. Um, we review the types of hashing algorithms. There's many more um, characteristics, characteristics of a good hashing algorithm. Um, and we're going to do a hands-on cracking exercise. So questions, what is the hash? Um, how are salts added to passwords? What is the purpose of salts? And what is the avalanche effect? I'll post the answers in the descriptions. So we're going to do a hands-on cracking exercise, but here are my sources for the PowerPoint. Thank you. Okay guys, so this is the beginning of the hands-on section. So we are in a hash generator right now. So let's type in Towson, and we are hashing Towson in the algorithm MD5 right here. And here's the hash for Towson. Um, we can also go to SHA-512 and we can type in Towson and notice how much more longer SHA-512 is from MD5. There you go. Okay guys, so we're going to use a program called Hashcat. Here's a command. Um, so the A stands for attack mode. So we can look over here real quick and scroll down to attack mode. There we go. And three, we're going to be using brute force. And then the M stands for hash type. So the hash type is MD5. So give me one second. So I can lo load up the file. So we will be attacking md5.txt right here. Um, md5.txt is right here too. And we have one password in it that we are going to try to crack. So let's see if we can do it using brute force only. 
go and it's starting to run. And let's see. Oh. And there we go. And we got the password right here. So the password was just Towson. Um, and I can show you the speed which it was cracked. So every status block you see is each incremented incrementation. So it starts with one digit, go down, goes to two, threes, fours, fives, and so on. And the speed is right here for each one. Okay, guys, so we're going to do another attack now. This time it's going to be on a shod two two fifty six dot text file. Um, so we have attack mode three, brute force again. And the hash mode is going to be 1400, which is this type of hash rate cracking. I can show you the file real quick. So this is the file right here. And it has one password, which we're trying to crack. So let's see if we can get it. Give me one second. I'm going to run this. Okay, and we got the password right here. So another thing to look at is the speeds. So with this hashing algorithm, the speeds are way down compared to last time. Um, just a much more longer algorithm to process. Okay, guys, so we're going to do a brute force attack now using Hashcat. One second, there we go. And we're doing attack mode three, brute force only. And we're going to do MD5 again, or hash type. And we're doing, we're taking this file, example.hash. This file is filled with hashes. I can show you real quick. There we go. And yeah, it's just, it's packed with different hash passwords. Um, there is, let's see, roughly 6,500 lines. So let's see how many passwords we can get real quick. And let me run this command. There you go, and here's the passwords. They start and roll in, and there you go. I just want to start with the smaller digits and work its way up. But yeah. Okay, guys, so we're going to do another hashcat uh, command. This one's going to attack the same file, same mode, attack mode 3, brute force, and same file um, hash format, MD5. Uh, so this is just going to attack eight letter w words. So each L is just letter, so there's going to be no numbers in these passwords, just letters. So you're going to run this real quick and see what we get. There we go, and here's all the eight letter passwords that it's finding. I'm going to stop it real quick. There we go. And yeah, all the eight letter passwords right here. Okay, so now we're going to do a dictionary attack with no rules. So here's a command. Uh, still doing MD5. Uh, now the attack mode is zero, so we're doing a straight dictionary attack. Same file as last time, and here's the dictionary. I can show you the dictionary we were using. Give me one second. Uh, there we go, and dic dictionary is just filled with um, passwords that have been cracked before. So there we go, and any if any of these passwords max matches the hash, it should pop up. So let's see what we get here. I'm going to run this command. There we go, and let's see. And we got one. Yep, we got one password right here. Okay, guys, so we're going to do one more Kraken attack. So here's a command we're going to run. We're still using Hashcat. Um, so the M is still going to be hash mode. So we're still attacking MD5. And the uh, attack type is going to be zero. So we're doing a straight attack. Um, we're going to add a rule set. So the rule set will toggle. Um, capitalization and lowercase, maybe switch some numbers around within the dictionary, dictionary words. Um, so we're still using dictionary and we're attacking the same file. This is the most effective types of attacks. So let's see how many passwords we get. There we go. And as you can see, we are getting a ton. I am going to quit this real quick. But we can let it keep going. Um, and here are a ton of passwords that we just cracked. Here's all the hashes, and here's a password, Taylor26. So we're going to scroll down, and in that short amount of time, we have cracked 382 passwords at this rate right here. 
and this will end the hands-on exercise. Thank you for watching.